New Testament vlog discussing the Gospel of John, part 3, on Jesus' view on a friendship in chapter 15. And how does it impact your friendship? Or mine, at least. So, in John chapter 15, Jesus talk, gives a parable of the, the true vine. And down to bottom, Towards the end of this parable, he talks about um, love each other as I have loved you. No greater love is it for a friend to lay down his life for another friend. And so this kind of like gives a spin on not a spin, but kind of shows how Jesus loved his disciples. He describes that. I have not referred to you as servants. You are my friends. I have called you friends. So I sh do not expect you all to be subservient to me. I am your friend. You are my friends. I have called you to be my friends. And so it shows that Jesus thought this of his, his disciples as friends. Not like s teacher and student, rabbi and student, however you prefer to phrase it, or master and servant. And so, he saw them as friends. Brothers, probably. And so, it kind of like, makes me, it almost feels, I almost feel ashamed that, uh, probably most people would not lay down their life for their friends. Some might, some will. Like, some will, maybe, maybe not. It kind of depends on, how good a friend you are, but they, he's calling like, if you abide with me, in me, you should love everyone as your friend and brother, and so that you should also lay down your life for them, and so, it's like no greater love that we can express to one, to one another for us to lay down our own life for them, and so, I find that a very interesting statement and that makes me feel kind of ashamed of myself that knowing how kind of selfish I am sometimes I probably wouldn't lay down my life for someone and so it's kind of a almost a shaming thing but it feels like I should it's something I should strive for and so he kind of also, without directly stating it, he says, like, to be a true friend is for you to lay your life down for your friend. And so, enough that you become, like, for me, a true friend, I refer to him as a brother. It's because someone, there are friends, and for me, then there are brothers. And so, for me, the statement would be, no great love for me to, is for a friend to lay down his life for his brother. Meaning, my friend so that's kind of what I had to say on that I see it as kind of an encouraging thing that something we should strive for and uh, not just as everyday people but as a Christian I feel like we Christians have a tendency to forget this and just brush it off but Jesus calls us to lay down our life quite a bit and so, he says, like, do it as friends. No greater love that can you express than to lay down your life for your friend. So, that's kind of what I have to say on this last part of Gospel of John. Thank you.